Welcome back, my fellow uh, scrub weeps. Welcome back to another episode of Your Turn to Die. We're going to finish this game. As you can see, my hair is like slightly green now. I'm trying to uh, obviously uh, start my cosplay of So, or who I like to call Joe Biden. So as you guys know, uh, we're playing this on the new channel, right? Thank you so much. I think we're at like 25K. Appreciate you. You know, mean, it would mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button. If you just want to watch these kind of games, I like playing them. I would love to have you part of the channel. Welcome. Hello, Yokozo. Last episode got kind of crazy. Uh, freaking... Having trouble remembering the names right now. Last episode, KG got, got in a little bit of trouble. It is not looking good for KG right now, so I'm really uh, excited to see what happens. If you missed it, check it out. Oh, yeah, so we named him actually Midori. Again, we don't really... I don't know. I can't remember if it's actually so or it's just like a clone. I don't really know how it works. Ah, <laughs> so much for your show pretending to get along with the dummies. Uh... How to save KG. I like KG out of that coffin. I told you, there's no other way to save him. Or only one way. Just sign this and I'll tell you. Yeah, the consent form that we found in the school. I still don't know what it even is for. No time to worry about that. Uh, surely. The coffin's execution timer is already ticking down. Oh, I didn't know I had a timer. I guess maybe it did tell me that a long time ago, but we waited so long. By the time all the sand is fallen, he'll be getting torched. You'll be smelling a delicious KG steak. Mmm. Oh God. <laughs> her day, her face. Stop it. Oh no, I didn't mean to skip it. Ah, I pressed control on accident. I won't let you execute it. I'm sure it wasn't that important. You can't. Uh, then let me hear your answer. What will you do, hmm? He's serious. Dude, he's like the freaking Joker. The consent form. In essence, it must be a slave contract agreeing to whatever might be written here. Watch all the good things, like to let everybody go. I consent. I'll just sign it. Why not? I mean, then we can just load it if we don't like it. All right, I'll sign it. So hurry up and save Kiji. It's the only choice I can make. Just signing this paper can help, then I... Ooh, will it actually work? Who? Oh! <laughs> huh? I won't let you. Wait, who was the one again? Wasn't she against us? No, no, it was the pink haired girl that was like all like... Not wanting to be on our side. Run, Maru. You tore it up, you fool. Well, she must know it's on it. Uh, Mr. Policeman. Well, is it? I honestly, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I'm, I, Ron Maru kind of sounds like a dude's name, so I don't really know, man. Please explain yourself. This is just cruel. Do you uh, not even care about saving KG? Maybe so. Freaking Hinako is like a freaking... Isn't Hinako like a, a, the name of like some demon doll, right? Oh, I think I'm thinking of Hanako. If you kill Midori now, we dummies would die. Uh, objective incomplete. Oh, that's why. Okay. But then KG uh, went and picked a fight knowing that full well, didn't he? Yeah, he's getting his uh, just desserts, reckless dumb it. Uh, you, uh, as I feared, our groups are just uh, incompatible. There's no way we can cooperate now. The air is chilly. We've been torn apart, too far apart to walk back to a compromise. But I don't care about that right now. I need to know why he'd do such a thing. Don't fall into their hands, Sarah. Hello, what do you do what do you want about? Just listen to me. KG, what are you thinking about right now? <laughs> it's probably scared. It's all my fault. I thought I'd avenge him, so I No, that's not it either. I tried to put all the blame on Midori for everything. Both of the fact that I shot my idol. Oh yeah, we don't we still don't know exactly what's happening with that. And for me not saving Megumi in the first trial. Even when those were my own actions. Q Tower put his life on the line just to build a bond with the dummies, and I just I If I just die here, I guess I can't complain. What are you saying, KG? I ain't letting you die, huh? We're gonna save you ourselves. Without relying on Midori's dang contract. Ooh. It's crazy. Uh, speak for yourself. You still want to be buddies with these guys? We betrayed them first. We stabbed Kitaro to survive, and he forgave us, right? Now it's our turn to forgive him. You trying to say that we'll be even then? Doesn't it frustrate you? We're just Midori's toys. First he kills us, and then he brings us back to put us in collars and use... Uh... Use? Wait, what did I say? I don't know. We didn't even try to act while Sarah and the others were fighting, so scared to die that we can't even resist. That just makes us his puppets. But we're humans. We create our own choices. I'm not gonna play along with Midori's puppet show anymore. What other way is there? Well, about that. Uh, there certainly is a way to save him. I wouldn't want to lie in a negotiation, you see. And you swear as a floor master, yes? But you know, I think it'll be too difficult for the likes of you. 
I'm certain Keiji will die. I can't hardly wait. He left. Well, we have no choice but to act. Uh, it'll be okay. Uh, we still got time. Just so we're clear, I'm not gonna help. Stupid Hinako. Okay, so who do I talk to? I guess everybody. I wonder what we should do. Ramaro gave us a stirring speech to be sure, but yeah, but with no freaking details. I don't want you to sign that weird form either. So let's save Mr. Policeman. You got it? Woof. <laughs> I'm not a toy either. I'm a human, which is why I don't want to die. I want you to understand, Sarah. Okay. We gotta look for a way to save KG. Guys, like all been stabbed. I think you should rest. That's right. The, now isn't the time to bicker. Kana will do her best to think of something. All right, so we're, we're gonna go in like the thing. Okay, who have I not talked to? Alice? Enough quarreling for now. We and the dummies aren't truly enemies. Oh, I can faintly hear uh, KG's voice inside. Talk to him. How are you feeling? It's kind of dark and cramped. He sounded a little more like his usual self. You know, I might have thought of a way to open this coffin. Open the map. Look at floor five. In the center is the control room. Remember anything of interest there? Yeah, well, there was something in there. I just don't remember what it was. It hasn't been that long, though. Oh, the collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it wasn't that. A certain monitor caught my interest. This monitor. I remember the screen. It said coffin control system. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would sound like something that we need. <laughs> Maybe you could even open coffins for us. Yep, seems like worth, worth looking into. You sound awfully cocky. Yeah, we gotta go check. Hold on, KG. We're going. Oh, they're gonna try to stop us. Did you forget about the collar pairing? If I get too far from KG, my collar explodes. Ooh. In the end, we're slaves robbed of our freedom. We have to kill our masters or we'll never be set free. That's bad. Well, we can still go, right? Okay, this is gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? All right, uh, take the helm, Sarah. Me? I don't really mind, but it might be better if someone who knows more about machines could. I'll give it a try. Hopefully my work experience could come in handy. You really gonna help her? Yes. Huh? What's the matter? Uh, could you look at the middle machine for me? Now, what is this? Uh, level zero unlocked, uh, locked, locked gimmick security. It seems to be security for various devices. I suppose the more important the gimmick, the higher the level of security is on it. In other words, we can just smash the machine. <laughs> no, what are you, some kind of berserker? If we can disable the security, we might even be able to open the coffins in the cemetery. If we can find a way to do so, that is. Well, what about this for one? Uh, it's a fingerprint scanner. We need to get someone's finger. Well, I'll be seeing a path forward now. Let's all put our fingers on it, meow. Everyone uh, presents their finger on it, but there was no response. Every time they put their finger on it, it's like stabbing KG. <laughs> okay, we don't know yet for sure. Let's have Muscle Gruel and the others in the cemetery try it out. Uh, woof. <laughs> I can't read his, I can't read the meows and woofs every time. No, Kitar badly injured. He can't exactly, uh, Kitar is badly injured. He can't exactly move from here. Come to think of it, there might be a first aid kit to treat his wounds in the office. Really? Wow, suit inspects. I did not work at... I did work at the medical equipment company, so the office... Let's go check. Okay, that is... Right there. That's a printer. The shelves are full of documents and medical supplies. There really are medical supplies here. Whew, that's good. Let's take anything that might be useful. I'll help. First aid kit. Okay, now we go back to the cemetery, I'm guessing. Uh-oh. What's happening? My, you're awake! Sorry, I ain't moving anytime soon. Stand in for me, will you, Sarah? He looks pained. We took a first aid kit. Show us your wound again. Yeah, serious? Ow, ow, ow. Stop that. You should have moved. Guitar's wound was treated. Real grateful. Sorry, everybody. He should be able to move now. I'd like to bring him along, but... Before that, there's someone I need to talk to. You. My. Apologize now. Uh, what you did isn't something I can forgive. I'm very angry, Mai. Dang, Sarah's yelling. <laughs> Lay it off, Sarah. Don't throw blame at her, please. Kutaro, didn't I tell you we'll be real allies? What in the world? Are you being serious? You bet your A I am serious. So, giving up uh, trying to kill me. So, give up trying to kill me instead. Let's think of how to leave together. I don't get you. I tried to kill you, remember? How could you say that to someone who stabbed you in the back? Stop it. I'm horrible. I'm the worst. That doesn't change nothing. If I were in your shoes, I've, I've done the same thing. He did, like, 
basically try to leave. Didn't he like on his own at one point? Just didn't get the opportunity to. We're all the same. Our hearts have been reduced to pulp. Pushed to the brink. We could only barely think about being allies. That's all it is. So I'm gonna make you regret it. Regret giving us new allies, that is. However you try to explain it to me, I just don't get it. She's like, I still want to kill you. <laughs> okay, is that really all we came down here for? Oh, I think we need to tell Keiji to come with us, right? Wait, hold on. Let me do it. Oh, so she's the key. I swear, I won't get any more funny ideas. Please, I... I, I just got to check her for knives, you know? Uh, let me lean on your shoulder. Right. How nice to see, even after all the stabbing. Wait, why you look like that? You plan to go make friends with that mummy monster from before then? Shut up. Okay, so she's helping us. Nice. We use that talk no jutsu on her. A fingerprint scanner, eh? We'll try it too. Kutaro put his finger on the sensor. Obviously, it's that girl's. Well, I suppose I'll try too. Huh? Ooh, success. Uh, why did my fingerprint... Oh, well, she really sounded like she knew that it was going to work. It reads dummies control system. Examine. On this screen, you can check the status of the dummy's bodies. Whoa, what the? It's the Shin AI. It appears they'll explain for us. Uh, currently being displayed is the information from Ranmaro Kageyama. In the center, you can see the remaining battery for the head and torso. Battery? It's gone down this much? The head and torso have a separate battery. And the right left hands are display your upgrade parts. Upgrade parts? What in the world are... Also, if there's personal info you want, such as preferences, alert knowledge, or people that he likes... Oh, okay, definitely a boy. I did not know that. I can see it now. Keep thinking about upgrade parts, everybody. If these are hand parts, perhaps there's something you can equip. Right, good point. My hands, uh... Are they rockets? Oh my god. My hand! The cotton candy, calm down! <laughs> is, that, that's, is that the nickname because of the hair? I'm really a doll, huh? I mean, sure, I did know that. Uh, but still, some parts of me just thought maybe. Hope. He hadn't completely uh, forget given up. <laughs> Even being shown a video of his own death. Somewhere deep down, he still felt he was human. He's had the reality thrust in front of him. The reality of what he is. Ron Maru. How worthless. Dolls shouldn't cry over such trifles. To have hope even though you uh, think to yourself you've given up, that's human. Having contradictory emotions, it pains us. Couldn't you say you're awfully human right now? So don't let such foolish uh, things sadden you. For you're alive, Ranmaru Kageyama. Alice? Stand up already, we haven't the time. Can you stand, Ranmaru? I'm okay. Uh, you, some, some man you are blubbering on the floor. I wasn't crying. Uh, that's a bit of a bold claim. Okay. So let's go over here. Uh, dead color control system. What's this? This screen lets you mess with the function of the dummies' colors. We'll turn it off. Turn the bomb off. The pairing function causes the colors to explode if they get too far from the designed survivor. The life sensor function enables exploding when the dummies run out of battery. Oh, that's bad. If not for that, the dummies could just recharge to come back to life. See? Charge. So which function? Oh, let's do the... Um, life sensor? Sorry, but you can't disable the life sensor function. So which one? Uh, oh, I don't know. It gets pairing then. Turn it off. You serious? You're going to give us free roam? Hinako will be glad to hear it. Because it'll make it easier to take your lives. If you're fine with that, go ahead and do it. You want to be sure? Whether you can really trust us, don't you? In that case, we should demonstrate it. The red lines that denote us as master and servant. The chain shackled to us so that we uh, would kill each other. None of that's necessary because I know we're the strongest when we can trust in each other. It's the power of friendship. So now the pairing is disabled, right? Well, we better go tell Hinako. All together. Okay, uh, did I look at this one? Oh yeah, we already did this. Oh, it's showing more than before. Alright, let's keep an eye on the cameras and see what we can do. Oh, what's Hinako do? Oh, yeah, she can't leave. Let's open the shutter. Wait, nothing happened. Try something else. Close shutter? Oh, snap. It's not for the coffins, it's the entrance. We can't go to the uh, cemetery now. Let's try to open it back up. Thank goodness, it wasn't a trap then. 
Oh, that's definitely gonna be used against uh, somebody. <laughs> definitely somebody. But it's strange. This is supposed to be the uh, coffin control system. It seems we'll disable the level two security then. As I thought it won't be that simple. Nothing ever is. Hey, you listen. Just a moment ago, a shutter closed and blocked the entrance. That was us. We explained everything. You turned off the pairing? Yep, it's true. Hey, Hinako, uh, let's make up a Sarah and everyone, okay? This isn't some joke. How are you planning to survive doing that? If there's a way for both the survivors and the dummies to live, then tell us. Then can you kill them? Because I can't do it. I can't kill them when they're so nice. It's still impossible. I can't just take a hand being held out to me. You mean... An ID card. If you have an ID card, you might be able to disable another layer of security. What's the meaning of this? Remember when we were woken up? I remember there was a strange machine. Midori was in front of it. And to use the machine, he used a card with his photo on it. That's what you mean by ID card? It might be in my benefit to let Keiji die. But I'd feel disgusting not repaying the favor. Hmm, so that card could be in Midori's possession. Let's question him. Let's go together, you too, Hinako. Alright, fine. I don't know where he's at. Wait, no Midori. I could have sworn he was here. Come on, we need that ID card. What's this? A transceiver. Oh, well, there we go. There it is. Seriously, isn't this it? What's going on? Did he go somewhere and leave his stuff behind? That's strange, isn't it? Let's use the ID card we uh, found. There's a slot for the card here. Let's do it. I, I inserted the ID card into the machine. Don't use that. That card is a fake. Get away. It's a trap. I think we already did it, though. It's displaying lots of smiling photos. What is this? Get rid of those. Is that all? Looks like it's, it was a good trap. Pulled out the ID card and put it down. I'll talk if you want. Things seem pretty tough for you after all. Um, ask about the ID card. Tell us where the ID card is. Don't tell anyone I told you, alright? That was a while ago, but Hiyori was whistling while working a machine. His eyes were glittering as if he was thinking, I wonder if everyone's having fun. Then Miss Maple showed up. Miss Maple yelled and cried and laughed and pleaded with him saying she wanted to be with him forever. Even Hiyori had to give in, it seems. So he reluctantly wrote a letter. But even when he gave it to her, Miss Maple wouldn't leave. So with no other choice, he gave her his ID card. So Maple has the ID card now? And who's Maple again? Is that the girl in the room? Uh, would she give it to us? I'm thinking there's no other way. She'll definitely get mad. She'll kill you. She uh, should give up on that. Or you should. Sounds pretty dangerous. Okay, so let's go to that room. Isn't that the elevators? Oh, is it not letting me go through? Okay, ask about Midori. The one you know as Hiyori. Hiyori, well, he, he's researching human memory. He's a researcher? Well, ever since he was little, um, he really loved humans. He loved them so much that, um, he would break them, apparently. Uh, what makes them hurt? What makes them suffer? What pains them physically? What pains them mentally? This is some Saw Joker stuff. Uh, what did they learn? What did they remember? What do they forget? He played with humans he got involved with until he exhausted them, it seems. Hey, are you being serious? Day after day, he'd make uh, many a human test his uh, subject, his test subjects. Uh, in doing that, he seems he learned ways of manipulating memory. Is that kind of thing possible? It, does, it doesn't seem uh, easy, of course, but with the right conditions and equipment, it's possible to an extent. If our memories disappeared, uh, how do we remember them? I don't know, but he already wants you to remember them. So who knows, maybe he prepared something. That's all I know. Alright, about Miss Maple. There might be a book on how to beat her in the library. We gotta fight again? If you can get an upgrade. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. I warned you, so don't blame me. Oh, of course she just goes away. Alright, to the library. Oh, this is the one. The book that mentions Maple's weakness. Uh, why stop at just one? Why not just take them all while you're at it? Good idea. Oh, it took away the thingy. Dangerous. If somebody had been caught in that, they'd kill them right uh, right there. So now we just need to know where she is. All we gotta do is, uh, is go on a name. Even with only a name, someone does come to mind. Yeah, she literally... Okay, she literally has syrup in her hair. Uh, that's gotta be her. I tried to go there, but it wouldn't let me. All right, hold on. Don't tell me she's here. Yes? Uh, is this door even open? So I'm guessing he's German, right? Because he keeps having that accent randomly. This door opens if a pair holds hands. A cute method that gets your heart racing. Hurry, let's get hold hands now. This'll do a... Uh, we're all set. Uh, it's like I'm babysitting. 
Please don't treat me like a kid. Uh, my heart's racing in a different way. You still frightened by still frightened by me? Hmm. Uh, will it still work even with gloves on? I'm super not taking them off. The door didn't open. Why? Uh, I wonder if only one pair can enter. Then we have to fight with only two people? No, we should have a discussion to make her hand over the ID card. Who will go? Uh, obviously Sarah, probably. We'll go. No the choice. We met her already. Uh, shouldn't be less, she should be less worried of us. Uh, we're relying on Sarah. Ain't Sarah the one who wants to save KG the most? Can't leave any regrets. That's true. The same as always, after all. If things get dangerous, uh, you should run. Right. Look, it opened. Ah, Sarah, run, Mara. I'm glad you came back. Hey, I'll get tea. Tell me how it's been for you two. She seems so nice. For now, let's talk and be careful not to offend her. Right. Oh, okay. It's ready. Let's have a relaxing chat. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's talk to Maple once we're prepared. Oh, I should have saved. I should have saved. Oh, I should have saved. Can you tell me what this is by the smell? This fruity aroma must be... No, I should have saved it. It's fine. I guess I can just skip if I have to, but dang it. Okay, a fruity aroma? Well, would have to be chamomile, I'm assuming. Correct. I'm glad, Sarah. You know your tea, because I know coffee does not smell that way, because I drink a lot of coffee. Took a sip of the tea. Nice one, Sarah. Let's keep it up and act friendly. Hey, I had a question for you two. Have you gotten friendly with each other? I'll be happy if you have. Uh... Yes, actually. I would say yes. It's an unspeakable relationship. Um, we become friendly? We're on good terms now. I'm glad. I always believed you two could become friends. Friends, huh? You're both acting a little strange. You seem nervous like you want to talk to me about something. Am I wrong? Uh, I can't let her suspect us. It's not really anything. I want to know your name. I want to talk about something. Uh, dang, I don't know. I feel like asking for her name wouldn't be out of the question. Let's do that. Actually, I wanted to know your name. You never told us, right? I'm glad. Uh, I'm so glad you're interested in me, Sarah. Sorry for not telling you my name before. I'm Maple, technically an obstructor. I knew it. You're the... Oh, so you're the name... So your name's Maple. Yeah, I'm happy to hear you use my name, Ramaru. Hey, could it be you two want to ask about Hiyori? Oh, uh... We should just be honest. Yes, we want to know. Please tell us, Maple. I really like Hiyori. I'm in love with him, but Hiyori doesn't like me uh, yet. But we're getting closer little by little. Little by little, huh? Did you get a present? No, that that's too, that's too soon. We'll say you're a good match. Really? I'm glad. Thank you, Sarah. Hiyori's so nice. He gave me a letter. See, she's going to tell us herself. A letter filled with so much love, I'm sure. Letter. I want to walk by Hiyori's side and live with him, but I shouldn't be so uh, be selfish, should I? Hey, Maple. Let me tear it up? What? Show me the letter. Did you get anything else? Show me the letter. Mm, show me the letter. I'd like to see that precious letter for myself. Here it is. But the contents are a secret. It's embarrassing. I see. Sorry, really. I'd love to boast about it and about Hiyori's card, too. Card? Yes, I do. I picked all the right answers somehow. It's the most wonderful card. When I answered, I could sense Hiyori in... <laughs> Pause. Pause real quick, Maple. All right, tone that syrup down just a little bit. Could that be the ID card? What does that mean? Insert, though? Uh, I'm having so much fun. Uh, sorry for going on about myself. I want to hear more, uh, more about you two. Hey, both of you. Do you feel like you'll win? I'm not trying for it. I don't know. I have no idea if... Well then, I'll tell you something special. If you win, Sarah and Ron Mara, you two can leave together. What? What's the smallest number of people who can uh, do a majority vote? That would be... Isn't it two? No, with two people, it'd be one against one. You can't do a majority vote with that. The answer is three. It has to be at least two pe people against one to vote. But what if all but two people died? Then you, could, then you couldn't have a vote. So there'd be a final uh, round rule. The two survivors live together for a while. Then pledge an oath that one will be a human and one will be a doll. One has to turn into a doll? They decide through a discussion and in the ritual. Wait, is that why they're all dolls? Is that true? But right now we're in a bonus stage with special rules. So if you survive as a pair, you could win as a pair. I'd be happier that way. I want Hiyori to live. I want you to win, Sarah. I sense people outside the door. Are your friends waiting outside? 
Uh, sorry for the long chat. I hope we can talk again. Wait, hold on. The ID card. Maple is cleaning up the tableware. What do we do? Sarah, look at Maple's back. Let me guess there's a slot. Yep. Just yank it out of her back. Well, she wasn't kidding about the uh, what she said inside of her. Like, literally, she's a robot. <laughs> Now's her only chance to grab it. Oh, I really wish I could have saved. I feel like we should just pull it out. But that might be a big mistake. I don't know. What do I do? I didn't save the game. Pull it out. Screw it. I reached towards Maple. I knew it. Dang it. Are you thinking something mean? That's not... Ron Morrow took the letter from the table. Please, Maple, give us the ID card. We need it so Midori can write the follow-up to this letter, all right? Don't touch that. Don't touch... Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Maple is angry. No, no, we shouldn't have done this. I won't forgive you. Calm down. Oh, my God. I. So, I could I... Could I have... Was this gonna happen no matter what? I really don't know. No mercy. Give it back, Yori. Yikes, she's completely flipped for Lin. Do we have no choice but to fight? After all, the two of us got no choice. We gotta think of a way to escape. She'll kill us if we give her the opportunity. Maple is angry. Dang it, if I would have saved. Okay, well, I guess we need to read these. Hey there, it's me. For death game participants around the nation troubled by obstructors, I have very good tidings. Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstruct- Uh, Maple, whatever. It's a crevice in her back. Remember this, you'll soon be an obstructor master. Well, I think we kind of found that out already. The key is the link between emotions and colors. Red is anger, blue is sadness, yellow is joy. Oh, so this is a Mori. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. Remember this and you'll be an obstructor king. When she's happy, have fun together. When she's angry, hear her out. When she's sad, uh, show her kindness. Okay, so hear her out. Uh, Maple's going to attack all uh, be a decoy, I guess. Let's go with that. We don't have a choice. It's either that or go to the door. Romaro just barely dodged Maple's attack. Close one. I already died once. This ain't gonna scare me. Maple started crying. Why so mean? So we need to hear her out. I know we need to show her kindness, right? Yeah, show her kindness and then when she's happy, have fun together. How do you do that though? Okay, what happens if we pound on the door? Let me out! Everyone help us! I got through to them. Now we have to trust the guys outside will open the door for us. Meanwhile, we'll grab the ID card and insert it to our back. Maple started laughing. What? What's going on with her? Her emotions are all over the place. But how do I show her kindness? Alright, what happens if we try to pull out the card now? I was able to easily get behind the smiling Maple. Now I'll take the ID card from her back. Wait, hold on. There's three buttons with different colors. What do we do? Uh, push the yellow button. Wow. Okay, well, that was really easy. I assume the yellow met the kindness. I got it, Ron Maro. Nice one. We just have to escape somehow. Ugh, never forgive. Never forgive. Why did you take Hiori from me? I hate you, Ron Maro. I hate you, Sarah. I just wanted to be friends. Something black extended from Maple's back. What the heck? Holy crap. That was close. Bixie, Sarah, are you okay? Is it, what if someone was standing behind the door? Are they all be dead? Don't go out in front. I was wondering what kind of monster it could be, but this is Maple. Everyone, talk, uh, take, talking it out was a no-go, huh? But it seems you have the ID card, yes? Let's run. You're so mean, ganging up to bully me. So mean. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going haywire. Holy crap, she is literally gonna kill us all. <laughs> sad, sad, glad, no mercy. Kill, don't want to kill, I'll kill you. <laughs> Run, die, let's be friends. <laughs> she's starting to act, she's starting to act strange. I don't know how we uh, should handle this, but we should invite her. Is there some way we can reconcile? Maple is angry. I won't forgive you, any of you. So intense. Would you let me read the letter Ron Maru got? Okay, so we have to... I have to hear her out. Okay, I'll observe her behavior. Okay, all right, let's do this. Oh, I see. <laughs> She's lost control of her emotions. Yeah, we know. Maple started crying. You're bullying me. Uh, ain't that our line? Okay, let's sniff something out. See if... Uh... 
There's a sweet smell all around here, but that means my nose is no use. The perfume's getting in the way. Maple started laughing. I'll give you something good. Maple took out a handkerchief from the shelf. Won't you accept it? Uh, what's this all of a sudden? A trap? But it might help us get closer with her. Uh, sure, accept it. Why not? Kana accepted the handkerchief. Maple seems happy. I'm glad Kana accepted it. Yes, thank you very much. It's fine. Don't worry. Oh, God. She's angry. I can't keep up with all of this. So I have to have fun together. How do you have fun? Maybe she wants to read the letter? Let's try that. Oh, my God. What's in this letter? Hold on a second. This letter is all about this girl. Well, I mean, it's a love letter. Mid uh, Midori wrote to Curry Favor with her, ain't it? I don't mean it like that. It's an instruction manual. Wait, let's read it. Uh, let's see here. It's the strongest doll, Maple, is a lonesome girl. You shouldn't use violence with her. What's important is uh, sympathizing with her and being her friend. Understanding her emotions and becoming a good friend is the key to peace. That was some good info. This ain't funny. Is there anything in the world more a, a pain to deal with than a woman's heart? I understand if it's not your forte, but please. Oh, look, the thing on her stomach, it says that her friendship meter. Oh, she's got a friendship meter? We should keep an eye on it, though. Reconcile with her friendship is high enough. Reconcile with, when her friendship is high enough. All right, you deal with the final blow, Anzu. Uh, I have to do something reconciling? Dang right you do. All righty. Uh, the rest of you, make sure to build friendship, okay? Okay, so I had to do all that. Joy, anger, sadness. It appears they're changing in order. So I'm guessing give her her handkerchief? Wait, we're accepting it again? Maple started laughing? Even if it's creepy, I'd rather she just smile all the time. What do I do if I, if not punch her? I just need to punch something. Tell her jokes or something? Oh, have fun when she's happy. Yeah, tell jokes. <laughs> knock, knock. So funny, so fun. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, she's laughing at such lame jokes. I won't forget that one. Kidding, don't take it seriously. Got angry. Okay, how do I hear her out? Conversations are good to good communication, right? I'll have a chat with her. No, oh, wait, is that what we need to do, though? Baseball player impersonations? What the heck? Give her some thoughts to her feelings, you fools. Oh, be quiet and listen. Hear her out. Okay, that's what we gotta do. You're reflecting on your actions. You can't say anything back? Maple's angle, anger calmed down a little bit. So how does that make you feel, uh, Maple? Oh, she's crying now. She's sad. No one understands me. So cruel. So cruel. We'll understand. Please believe us, Miss Maple. Okay, show her kindness. Give her back the handkerchief. Or we can give her back the letter. I think, okay. Yeah, let's give her back the letter. Hey, take it. Take it from me. <laughs> Thank you, Ramaru. Well, this is easy. Sorry about that. Cheer up. I hated you before, but I've changed my mind a little bit. Okay, so we have to tell her the baseball impersonation. That's fun. <laughs> oh, whenever I move, the pain in my back. <laughs> Kyutara fell over from the pain. Poor thing, poor thing. You're gonna make me sad. Oh, that didn't work. It's because he freaking fell. Maple got angry. <laughs> no. Okay, I assume we have to have a conversation with her. I got it. Don't feel like chatting. I don't enjoy myself at a time like this. What else can I do? So dang cheeky. I'm getting annoyed. Don't Hinako. You can, you can strike. You can't strike back. Don't grab my shoulder, you. I'm not gonna do that. She started crying. I don't want to kill you. I thought we were friends. Okay. How do I show her kindness when she's sad? Maybe chatting. I'm too sad. Oh my god. I am blowing it right now. Okay. Let's have a conversation with her now. It has to work. It's so fun to chat with you, Hinako. Okay, that worked. Enough! If you won't give it back, I'll kill you all. You'll die regretting taking Hiyori from me. Yikes, we can't get a grip, you. Where, was I too late? I think I was too late. Just doing whatever you please. I'm going to smash you. Get away. Don't be a chicken or attacks come from the back. If I just close the distance, you don't mean crap. I'll crush that head of yours. Oh my god, that didn't work. So this is how he dies. Kurumada! Kurumada! I'll kill you, all of you! Ooh, ah! Run to floor five! Grab my shoulder! 
Oh, dang. He doesn't look so good. Uh, well, he technically isn't dead. I feel like I should reload the game, though. Okay, I'll do it right this time. Oh, okay. So I reconciled with her. Something's happening. We did something really awful to you. We want to apologize. Sorry. But look, we really need that ID card. There's uh, this KG person whose life is on the line. All right, Anzu. You'll give it back later, right? I should have trusted you. I'm glad no one got hurt. Maple? Now we're all friends again. Maple entrusted the ID card to me. Thank you, Maple. Oh, God. Oh, God. Head hurts. Maple? Run, everyone. No, Maple! No, don't self-destruct! I can't! She's still acting strange. I'll kill you! No! Run, everyone! No way, we can't get away. Enough of this. Oh, is he gonna die no matter what? Don't be a chicken or attacks come from the back. No, I thought I did a good thing. Is is there? No, I guess there's no other way to save him. I mean, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead a little bit. Uh, Cause he might survive. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry! Wait, everyone. Kitara is injured. Alice, sorry. I need to use your shoulder. Well, if you say so, go ahead and grab on. Kitara put Kuromata, uh, Kuromata's on Alice's shoulder. What are you doing, you? Now go, you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Understood. Big sis Sarah, you knew you were quick on the uptake. We're gonna save KG for sure. Got it. I'll protect you, Taro. Go, everyone. Holy crap, she's like going through the wall. I'm still worried about Muscle Gorilla. You want to go back? You'll die. You, you and him both. What do you mean by that? Muscle Gorilla wouldn't lose. I'm sorry, again. Put me down, suit and specs. Run, everyone, to the elevator. Muscle Gorilla, no. Get on, everyone. Close the doors quick. She'll, uh, we'll be wiped out if she catches up. No, don't. We should wait, Big Sister. Wait until the last second. Uh, all right. Don't be ridiculous. She forcibly closed, uh, pressed the close button. The elevator closes slowly. No, he's dead, man. Kitaro and Mai. I'm sorry, Gin. But this is our best option. Gosh, dang it. Was this really for the best? I have to believe that. Uh, that's all I can do for now. Please. Is Kyutaro dead? I feel like that's not what we should have done. Make haste. The control room. Maybe he's still alive. We'll see. We need the ID card to disable level 2. Okay, it worked. Yay! Huh? Where'd the security camera footage go? Uh, what's that? But the other machines are working. There's no problem. The monitors aren't displaying anything. Okay, uh... Coffin controls? Open. Are you sure? Maple's uh, rampaging on the lower floor. Simply close the shutter, then the cemetery will be safe. Oh. That's why we want to close it. Okay, so we close it, and then now we open the coffins. There's no need to hesitate. We all put ourselves in danger. We suffered wounds for this. If this doesn't work, then no one could be saved. All the coffins have been opened. Yeah, so if KG dies, or uh, Kyutara dies, I'm probably going to just reload the game. So now the coffins are open, right? The camera's feet vanished, so who can say? Uh-oh. Oh my god, Sarah. What the? These are the victim videos. Oh, okay. Of our death. No, I don't want to see this ever again. The videos won't stop. Wait. This is what happened to you all? Ramara Kageyama, uh, you've been revived. That's right, you remember it, don't you? Uh, sort of, vaguely. You'll continue living until the end of the established lifespan. You mean I'm gonna die again? And if you want to, uh, go back to being a corpse. Then before the game ends, have the one you paired with take your place. Take my place? Simply make her into a corpse instead. Kill your partner. Kill my partner. Good luck. No, so that's what happened. Uh, was that just- what was that just now? Our first moments. Right after we were created by Midori. He showed us our deaths like that and then... It's pretty fair to you, I take it. How awful. It's just too cruel. Thinking about it now, it's the worst possible way to end things or th things could happen. Who could be shown something like this and have the will to resist? Especially when the one dying in the video is you. So stupid. You're gonna say you'll help them even knowing that? I mean, gotta be crapping me, man. Is that your resolve? Pathetic. Well, what's the matter now? I'm dead meat anyhow. Hurry up, I'll give the ID card to that dang woman. That ought to stop her rampage. I knew it, he's at his limit. 
It seems like he has to die. I mean, I think we probably could have done things a little bit different, but I literally can't even go back. Um, so, well, I could, but it would take a long time and I really don't want to do it. So we'll just, I'm sure it'll be fine. Even so, Kuramata is still alive. What should I do? Fix him. And how are you going to do that? It's over for me. Hurry up and go. It's amazing. I can even still move. I can't. Well, Kana will stay here, selfish brat. Let Kana handle this. The rest of you return the ID card, but please trust me. We may have no choice but to go. If we can save anyone, there's always got to be that person that stays behind. No, that's fine. It's like, but no, you don't need to stay behind. You're, you're literally not doing anything. No. And then someone's always like, no, let them. They have to do this. This is in their, their uh, <laughs> character arc. Surely it's only those down below. Uh, we just have to do what we can. I'm sorry, Kuramada. Oh, Kana will find a way to fix Kuramada. So please help Keiji. Is she like good with machines? I don't remember. So what do we do now? We can't go into the graves, right? Oh. The buttons aren't doing anything. What's this? Why is it out of order? Did Maple break it? What do we do? Muscle Gorilla and Mr. Policeman are both gonna... Oh, we must go back for now. Let's see if any of the machines in the control room can activate the elevator. Ron Morrow. Uh, what's wrong? Why did you stop? Sorry, let's go. This little sus there. Little sus there. Wait, where's Kana and Kuramata? They vanished! Where did they go? Um, guys? It's terrible. Kuramata just ran out of the room. And then Kana went after him. Uh, what now? Uh, let's go for them. Did, are they, like, like hiding information? Wait. I want to tell you something first. He just tells you, like, a pointless story. <laughs> Is everyone ready? Listen. There is a way to keep Kuramata alive. What do you mean? Tell us. By charging him. Take a look at that screen. This is the information on, uh, Kuramata. There's been no major damage to his head, so even if his torso is taking a big hit, his battery's still working, right? Then we could still save Kuramata. Yeah, if you just charge him uh, up, you can extend his life. Though the damage is serious, so I don't know how long it'll last. There's a charger somewhere on this floor. We search a... Oh my god. We have to go to the freaking uh, Apple store to get him a charger. Those things are expensive too. That's uh, strange. Is there anything we have every anywhere we haven't searched? Uh, let's go to the uh, the classroom locker room. Oh, I bet you it's in a locker. Uh, I mean, what's inside the lockers? Hold on, you might be able to actually just use the ID card. Whoa. Okay, let's do it. Come on. We don't need to talk about it. Let's just go. Could you display Mai's dead on the screen? Sure. Hold on a second. This is the correct data for Mai. Oh, okay, so we know if she's charged that she's alive. Okay, good, good, good. If she were broken, it would show a big old school icon. <laughs> I didn't ask for that information. Uh, which means Muscle Gorilla. Maybe he's hiding together with Mai somewhere. Then we must find the charger first. Then we shall uh, also find Naomi... Naomi Michi Kurumada and end his, extend his life. Not, not, not what I was going to say. Uh, I'll try accessing the computers to see if I can control the elevator. You can do that? But of course, it's a secret, okay? Watching you guys just makes me want to help, as concerning as that is. Let's go, everyone! We won't sacrifice anyone else. Okay, just skip to the part where we find the charger, please. I'll have to open them all. Guess I can't click those. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I can... <laughs> haven't even been opening them. I just expect to find the mom, mama's head from uh, that game that we played. <laughs> yeah, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, what is that? A lantern? A small lantern with a switch. What happens if you turn it on? Uh, should I really turn this on? Prepare myself? Let's save it first. Turn it on. <laughs> Big Sarah, did you hear a noise? A noise? The door closed! Hang on, another trap? That's way too dang many. Not good. At this rate, it'll go like before. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh oh, was I not supposed to do that? Uh, what are we dealing with this time? Oh my god. The whole room's attacking us! <laughs> I'm here, believe in me! Fix it, Sarah! Oh boy, what did I do? Oh, okay. Shining the light on the lockers is making something show up. No idea what it means, though. Is this a hint for solving the puzzle? Touch to power off. Oh, something fell out of the lockers. A whole bunch of stuff fell out. That hurt. You hit me right in the head. 
Okay, we have some random stuff. Oh my god, how is this related? This kind of looks like a card. That's the only thing I have. Oh god, what is happening? The magic pull, the magnetic pull of the ceiling grew stronger. Oh, because I, okay, I'm messing up here. I'm so confused. What do you do? Oh, oh, okay. I have to put it in here? Okay. That wasn't it. <laughs> Bro, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna, just gonna put, I'm gonna randomly put things in here. Okay, so that wasn't it. More stuff fell out. Okay, we're obviously really messing up here. Okay, so the shadows your lantern reveals, they resemble the floor map, yes? Uh-huh. Do you feel the room layout and the locker layout are also some, uh, uh, somehow similar? Well, they have the same symbols on it. So the floor map is an important clue. I'll keep it on hand. Okay, that doesn't really help anything. Okay, well, this is like a police, uh, siren, right? Am I supposed to? Okay, I was supposed to remember. All right, can I just reload the game? All right, what I'm gonna do is take a picture of this and that should help me. Okay, so we got two open lockers and what are they? So one's the police station and then one of them is the coffins. So I'm assuming the coffin is gonna, or the skull is gonna go in here. Hey, okay. All right, well, I know how to pass it now. I just didn't have the right stuff. And so this is gonna go in there. This is too easy. Too easy. I was confused the first time because I didn't have any of the stuff related to the lockers, I don't think. Okay, so we have a book. Um, oh, I literally have a book. Uh, that has to be it. Maybe? Or is there a picture of a library? You know, I think it's it. I think this is it. Cool. And then the next one over is a uh, the office. I'm pretty sure... Oh, okay. This might work. Let's try it. I feel like it's the briefcase though, but we'll see. No, okay. No, that worked. Okay, so now we have the elevator. The bell could be related to the elevator because it does make a bell sound when it comes up. Oh, geez. I don't know what this one is actually. Oh, wait, no, that's a, it's a school. It's a school thing. Okay, so that goes, the bag goes in here. And up here we have the elevator. I'm really going to say it's the bell. I don't know what else. Okay, I was wrong about that. Wait, so what is it then? Okay, I messed up once. It's fine. Okay, this this goes in here. And then it looks like we have like a pencil? Or is that a paintbrush? I think it's a paintbrush, so let's do this. Okay, I genuinely don't know what goes here. Because like, what I'm looking at is like, it looks like a window is in a sink. And then over here we have like the gates. So, um, dang, I'm genuinely confused about this one. Alright, I'm gonna put the tea- screw it, I'm putting the teacup right here. Let's just do it. Ah, come on. I'm gonna put the lock here. Uh, no, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Okay, I am screwing up so bad, dude. Oh, okay, so the mic went in there. Okay, I, I guess that's the control room. Maybe the microphone. But the gates, man, I don't know what goes in there. I'll try putting the lock in there. I've tried putting in the shogi piece, the panda. Did I really try the lock? I feel like let's try the lock again. Oh, the lock was it. Okay. All right. And here's the elevator. What the heck goes in an elevator? I'm just thinking like, I tried the fire extinguisher. I tried the bell. The bell is like the only thing I can think of. I, I'm so lost. Um, well, I killed again on accident. <laughs> The fancy cup went into like the elevator looking thing. Oh wait, no, that's actually, that was Maple's room. I was keep thinking it was an elevator. Okay, so the tea cup went in there. That actually makes sense. But this one, I don't know what goes in this one. I'm gonna put a bell there. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, what have I not tried here? Um, a lock, it's a gate, is it not? Oh my God, that's it, all right. <laughs> All right, we did it. Okay, the door opened. I knew Big Sister would save us. Well, I actually killed us all once, but you just didn't know it. Are all of us alive? Sure, somehow. Uh, where's the charger? We didn't find it anywhere. Ah, of course, the secret door. I knew that was there for sure. 
Another one of these trick doors? I don't want to go in there. Hmm. Um. We just have to enter. Sure enough. Go inside. Come on, don't be chicken. Oh my god, another puzzle. Is it another puzzle? Feels shady. Is, th is this the charger? It's not a drink machine. It does look like a soda machine. I'm super thirsty. Want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. Do they have uh, any hot drinks? Don't carelessly start drinking anything. Oh, it is a drinking machine, isn't it? There's a safe on the floor. This has a place for the card. Go ahead. There's a photo inside. Uh, isn't this... Oh my god, I forgot her name. Uh, was it Alice? No, not Alice. Um, why can't I remember it? Reko, right? Yes, I remembered. I actually remember the name. What is this? When was this taken? Uh, you don't remember it? Uh, well, no, I'm sure I don't yet. Yeah, I do remember this place in this photo. It's a uh, cafe Reko would often uh, visit with one of the band members. Uh, who could have taken this photo? Let's use this light to look around more. Reko, no! That was sad when she uh, died. Whoa! Oh dang, did you just get his memory back? Uh, memories back? Explain yourself, you! Why do you have this photo of Reko? Jeez, what a bother to think you'd go open up my briefcase while I was out uh, of my seat. It's not just the one, so, so many photos. She's a friend. Uh, they're simply photos from out outings we had. Then what are all these documents? Death game plans? Participant lists? Are all these insane things true? You read them all, did you? Answer me. What are you planning to do with Reko? Now then, shall, how should I handle your memory of this? Answer me. Oh, we got a flashback. This seems pretty dang important to the story. Ow, he fell from the second floor terrace. Uh, where did he... Holy crap! It can't be. That went poorly. An unthinkable mistake, an amusing mistake. I won't forget you. I won't forgive you, Alice. My name is So Hiori, though you'll forget it anyhow. What the heck happened? You have to be kidding, Alice. What in the world is it, Alice? They're all in on it. The police, the prosecutor, they're all connected to Asunu Asunaro. What's this all of a sudden? When that incident happened, he didn't even bleed. It was all twisted to make me out as a murderer. Oh, so that's why he went to, uh, to prison or whatever? Can't let this stand. It was just my own misfortune. Stripey. Again, sorry. Could you turn off that lantern? When I look into this light, my head hurts. Right. Is that okay? I've regained a little composure. Are these our lost memories? I'm unsure. I feel as if there was still something else. The one Alice killed wasn't the human Midori. Then who is Midori we're fighting against right now? Okay, there's drawers on the desk. What's this? Some kind of instruction manual? Uh, obtain the charger instruction ma uh, manual. Uh, what's the note in the back? It says game start blue one red six yellow zero. What could this be? Doesn't seem related to the charger. Could you show me the instruction manual? Sure enough, the device here seems to be a large-scale charger. Right, and with this manual, we should be able to use it. All right, let's just, uh, we just have to bring the guy. Let's go look for him. I oh guess he's not gonna be there. Hey, okay, crap, where'd he go? Out of the dang way! I'm gonna kill that dang maple. Please stop! Uh, Kana Kurumata, you guys didn't you go to save my and Kutaro? The elevator doesn't work. Don't lie to me. I won't stand for being a loser. It's not like you're going to win. We found a way to save you. I don't need that crap. Just calm down and listen. Shut up. Stop getting in my way. I'm free to do what I want. Please just cut it out. Oh, he's actually slapped him. He's got a big hole in his freaking uh, stomach and he she slapped him. Right now, Kuramata, as if you're trying to die. Just like so was then. So did it to protect Kana and Kuramata. You're trying to protect all the dummies, aren't you? An obstructor's goal should be complete after they destroy one of you. And yet, Maple's rampage didn't stop. Kuramata, you, you must think that's because she thinks you're still alive, right? That's why you're trying to die? No way. It's his turn to die. What can you say? It's in the name of the game! Don't make wild assumptions, but I don't want any more of that. Don't think it would be better if I died. Please try to live, Kuramata. 
We found a charger. We can save you. You want me to live? I'll smash you even if I do charge. How long is it gonna last? I can hardly even walk anymore. Kana will uh, be your legs. Kana let Kuromata her shoulder to support him. I can't carry you fully, but I can at least give you half support. Let's go. Let's take him closer to the room with the charger. I won't let him die. Okay, come on, let's go. How do you charge him in here? Okay, let's charge his head, obviously. Wait, his head's still fine. Oh, no, the torso? Okay, never mind. No, I'm fine. Are you still just thinking about it? With this battery here, you could extend the other's lives, right? No, I don't need that. Yeah, he's like trying to. You're gonna die, aren't you? Aren't we allies? Uh, the dummy attached Kuromata to the battery. None of you idiots think things, think things through. Should the guy who got himself injured like this being saying that? Hey, Sarah, listen. If a floor master meets their doppelganger, they die. Remember the unique info each of us got to hear? That's mine. Don't even know what it means. And besides that, it's a uh, matter to me. Why uh, suddenly bring it up now? Just felt like it. Except, well, there goes the value of letting me live, I guess. So you're saying you want us to protect the others. What? What is... Is that how it is? Quiet, you. Kuramata will be fine now. Now all that's left is maple. We have to find a way to get downstairs. The door is the stairs. Oh my god, there he is. Do you need the consent form? Uh, what is with the scary face murderer? Alice, please calm down. I know, but I must make certain about that photo. Something you want to say? Yes, I remembered. I haven't killed anyone. You set the whole thing up, Midori. How cruel. I really did die then. How you uh, have some sympathy. Why would a dead man come back to life? I'm sure it flows within you, a vile black blood. Wants to try killing me then? Alice, uh, let's see. Don't go. As if I don't know that, I'm not some kind of moron, you know. Uh, you're surprisingly cool-headed. Oh yeah, I don't know if I read it, but she's just he's just trying to provoke him. I was just thinking I'd use this. What? Oh my god! Something pierced the wall with a loud sound. <laughs> what in the world? A rocket punch. Cool, isn't it? He's mocking us. But if we got hit by something like that, so are you still going to consider me a human? Midori took the hand for out from the wall. Just so we're clear, Alice, I'm deeply angry. Even if I didn't plan for such an incident, it made me lose my seats in the death game uh, that I was looking forward to. I won't forgive you for that, Alice. And also, you're barking up the wrong tree, putting all the blame on me. That lantern, it'll reveal your true sin. Go try it out, not just on Alice, but on everyone. I couldn't get a word in. I was so nervous. If that thing flew at me, I wouldn't be able to dodge. It's true. I was strangely calm. Maybe that's the extent of the anger left within me. Okay, so we're using the machine. Oh, I thought they were going to use the lantern on each other. I guess not. Should we split up and search for clues now? We don't have many people. Let's do what we can. I say let's stay together. So you don't trust us after all. It's not that exactly, Just All right, just be careful. And now I'm by myself. I should look for a way to get downstairs, too. All right, let's save the game. Ah, I see. Seems to be carefully looking over the area around the elevator. Uh, use lantern? Let's take a look at the lantern, Hinako. I don't have that kind of time. Okay, I guess we're not using it there. Notice anything? You know, Sarah-senpai, I think you, the breaker was shut off. The breaker from the elevator was on fourth floor. Wait, someone downstairs? Uh, maybe Mai or Kutara. Surely not Keiji. I don't know who did it or why, but watch your back, Sarah. Someone shut off. Hmm, maybe it was KG, because, like, we don't know if he actually got out, right? Oh, hey. Uh, this computer turns on, too. Uh, you aren't with Gin? Yeah, he's a capable kid. Me banging around is just, uh, but whatever. But never mind that. Look at this. I found the uh, power cord off to this computer. If you use the ID card you have, you should be able to see what's on it. Okay. Oh, something came up. Recruitment list. We've uh, located two promising choices uh, who meet Gashu's requirements. Uh, Michi uh, Namada Emiru Harai. Aren't these the freaking floor masters or something? Both are extremely capable but are treated poorly in their current workplaces. Michiru Namada Namida is a diehard researcher. Extraction should be simple if offered in an ideal environment. Uh, Emiri Harai is satisfied at present extracting her will prove more difficult. 
The biggest reason is the presence of the man she is considering marrying at her workplace. If we can't, uh, workplace, can't, if we can't wait her over, there's only one thing to do. Namely, to drive her beloved mad. This document. These two are no doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I didn't recognize her exactly, but I did remember her because I always thought she looked like the girl off of My Hero uh, Academia. Sophia and Miley. Oh, yeah, Miley Cyrus! Yeah, I forgot about that. That was such a long time ago. Okay, they're talking about, like, maybe, probably memories, probably, I bet. Okay, so we can't use the lantern on anyone yet. All right, what's Alice doing here? Is something the matter, Alice? I uh, don't speak up so suddenly. Did I? Hey, Sarah, what you doing? Uh, there was a transceiver and a voice recorder here, yes? Uh, that's right. I wonder what's the matter. Can we use the lantern on him? Can we talk about your lost memories? My capability to remember surely isn't strong enough to recall any more than I have. Even if it's difficult uh, to do alone, you might remember something while we talk. Foolish, that couldn't possibly... Well, I suppose it's worth a try. Thinking on it, I never have opened up about it to someone else. You'll just have to put up with it being me. Be sure to fully carry out your listener's role so I can speak at a leisure. He said it uses laughter on, er on everyone. This light stirs up the forgotten memories. It projects the things we can no longer see. We just have to try. The memory that troubles me was at prison. Despite how much time I spent there, it's strangely vague, you see. I feel as if something special occurred that day, yet when I remembered it, it's all entirely normal. Uh, is there something wrong in Alice's memory? By using this lantern, maybe I can bring Alice's real memory to light. Okay, what's the explanation? Touch the right screen to move the lantern's light. If you find a difference, point it out. Oh, let's just find the difference? Okay. Okay, that appears to be the same. No, right here. Could you remember this part a little more? Nothing odd about it, is there? It's just a blanket. The prison was chilly in the winter, sweaty in summer, and this blanket addressed both rather inadequately. Inadequately. It's right there. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't put it perfectly where it should be. That's it. I was making tally marks to count the days. That thing where you add a line every day? Precisely. Indeed, I suppose I thought it appropriate... I thought it appropriate to perform this prisoner-like act. <laughs> yeah. Probably the best place to, to do that. Okay, this is different. Could you remember this part a little more? Finding faults with me, Sarah Chidoin. Yet, indeed, I feel... It wasn't a trash can on that day only. That's it. It was a scarf. Oh, Midori scarf. What is it? Now I remember it. It's clearly bizarre. Please don't go on a rampage. Relax and take deep breaths. Uh, say what? Don't treat me like some kind of strange beast, you. Okay. Um. Okay, his outfit is... Uh, well, his hair is different. Could you remember this person a little more? What's the matter? I'm sorry, he, the car that day. It was Midori. I know not yet, and yet I still saw him there. Dang it. I feel as if I'm going to go nuts. I went to prison because I killed him, and yet I reunited with him there. Stay calm. For now, just remember, don't think about it. Okay, um, we're missing something here. That's it, a chain. A chain was attached to the bars. How important to thinking about it. Why am I still the only one in chains? Uh, you can't remove the handcuffs or shackles? Like, of course not. Duh, you thought of wearing these because I wanted to? That was a fashion statement. It's a bit bold for a fashion statement. Okay, he's holding something. That day, I tried to talk with the guard, and now I think, now that I think of it, I feel as I was holding something in my hand when I did. I believe it was an article about my murder case. Holding the article in my hand, I tried to approach the guard. Yet something surprised me, and I collapsed. Naturally, I suppose it was his face that startled me, seeing as it was Midori's. Okay, this is different. It may be obvious, but there were dangerous criminals and consider a considerable number there as well. It was freaking scary, honestly. Prison is heck. But uh, please, uh... Must have been hard to endure. Oh, there's bongos on the floor. Yeah, the bongos! The bongos! <laughs> the bongos did it. That morning, they came in as a gift from someone. I gulped. I, I thought I it couldn't be. Yeah, they uh, weren't from Reco. Dang it, what in the world are, were these? Uh, getting sent an instrument, of course you'd think that. He plays his bongos all day. Uh, what else is actually different, though? Okay, there's literally nothing else that's different. Oh, I guess I had to click this again. That's it, there was an AS logo carved into the emblem on the wall. It's the same logo on the coffins as- Oh, I didn't even know that! Calm down, I know how you feel, but for now, please not, uh, focus on sorting out the memories. You're right. I've remembered everything. My true memory looked like this. I had been gathering information on the murder I had committed. 
Uh, one such morning, an instrument was brought to me. I thought, could it be Reko? I tried to ask the guard about the sender. However, why? Who are you? How are you alive? What an emotional reunion, Happy Alice. Don't be absurd. Get me out of here. No, no, no. This is a murder case, you know, as far as the public is concerned. I mean, if you got accused of murdering someone and then they showed up, I would be mad too. But good for you, right? You didn't kill anyone. What about this is good for me? My family's a mess because of you. My parents have to live as a, as a parents of a murderer. And Rucko, she can no longer do music. She can't sing, you hear me? Even though she loved it too so much. Oh, that's sad. No worries, I met Rekko today and took care of her. What? I'll kill you if you did something to Rekko this time. I swear I will. Officially, I'm already a dead man. Does that matter? But actually, maybe this is perfect. You see, I came here today to ask your wish. What are you blabbing about? Atonement for things coming to this. If you sign a certain consent form for me, I'll grant you any wish you have. It's called the Asunaro Vow. Who I want to be today, Asunaro. Tomorrow I will be clever, right? I don't know what the heck. You truly don't listen to reason. What are you saying? Who I want to be? You've wrecked everything. I'll end your life. Go to heck. Sounds uh, like a deal. Will you sign the form? I'll sign it if it'll stop you from taking another breath. I signed it. That consent form. This was Alice's erased memory. So is that like why they're here? Let me thank you, Sarah. You've reminded me of that feeling of refusing to let that uh, fiend get away with this. Is that for the best? <laughs> It's dark, but I'm using my dark vision to search uh, super thoroughly. He's really darting around. Are you searching on your own? Be careful. I'm searching in cat mode. Yeah, if a cat seems to sense it's danger, they can get away super nimbly. I see. On the other hand, they're fickle, so they're not suited for searching. Okay. Uh, you should use it too when you the time calls for it. He just woofed. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> can I use the lantern? Sounds like a complicated subject. Oh, I can. All right, do I have to do the thing again? Yep, okay. The memory that's hazy for me was in the infirmary at school. It feels like it was fun or maybe scary. It's some kind of, it's it's kind of hard to remember. I want to remember it properly and clear it up. Well then, let's give it a try. Okay, well obviously, your freaking costume. Back then I was wearing the same outfit I am now. Why are you apologizing? Sure, it's uncommon to go to school in an outfit like that, but... Um, I'm okay now, but I used to not be able to go out if I wasn't wearing this, um, wearing this. Why is that? Because... You don't want to say? I know I decided not to keep secrets from you, Big Sis Sarah. You can tell me anytime if you want, Gin. No matter what it is, uh, it won't make me hate you. Big Sis Sarah, I love you! That's definitely the truth. And the same to you, Gin. Yeah. I never paid it much mind before, but maybe that outfit, it could be very important to, to know again. Okay, well that's different. It's a picture I drew. I never drew a picture of a butterfly. That was a picture of a butterfly to the, the teacher brought. It was a really sucky drawing, like a big ink stain. I feel like I've seen this kind of picture uh, somewhere else before. My pictures are way better. Uh, Bix, Bix and Sarah, we should draw portraits of each other someday. Well, now I wonder. You don't wanna? Not at all. I, I, I look forward to it. Or no, not at all. I just hope he doesn't cry when he sees it. I don't know what you're talking about. That looks like the consent form. I think I remember something important. The consent form was posted up there. I don't know why I forgot, but thinking back now, it was the same one. Maybe I... But why? Calm down. Take it slow. Right. Okay, uh, this guy looks different. Okay, so the but the doctor lady had a white gown, so it's weird how the teacher wore a suit. Maybe because he didn't work in the infirmary? Oh, that's the person they were talking about. Okay, there's a thing here. I feel like there was a black safe there. When the teachers talked to me, he'd always take papers out and write, write on them. He wouldn't show me what he wrote. I wonder what it was for. He kept it hidden from you? Yeah, I kind of didn't like it because it felt like I was being observed. But why? Okay, this is different. It wasn't a first aid kit. I think it was a speaker. Teacher always said it would help me relax to play music while we talked. Which means they were discussing things that made him nervous. We talked about school and home and all sorts of stuff. I wonder the situation I'm looking at. Is again getting counseling? Uh, what is it? No, it's nothing. Oh, this is different. There was an unfamiliar pin in the pin folder. Or holder. An unfamiliar pin? I got to the infirmary all the time, so I know. The pin the usual infirmary person do doesn't use, it only showed up when the teacher was there. I know that pin. It actually got a hidden camera. 
Oh, okay. Some special service, uh, something from another country was targeting me. Now that I think about it, wasn't I being targeted for real? Sounds like a joke that could be entirely true. Oh, okay, it was his face. All right. It's the same as Midori's. So this Midori dude is everywhere and he gets, and he, he interacted with everyone at some point. Okay. And probably made him sign that stupid form. But Sarah seems to be the only person that hasn't signed it. So why is she here? So he kidnapped me and made me do all this stuff. That's so cruel. Uh, again, stay with me. Just hang on. All I can do is hug him until he stops shaking. Uh, big sister Sarah, thank you. Sorry, I shouldn't be digging up lost memories, should I? No, I want to know. Maybe I was being tricked, but I want to know what what's a lie and what's real. A big sister, uh, work with me. Okay, what really happened? I remember. So the thing is, I don't really get all the details, but I have this sort of condition called autism. If I don't wear this, I feel really embarrassed. I get nervous. I know it's weird. It's okay. There's nothing uh, weird about that. Really, that's good. But he was the one who was all nice and told me I could get better. I'll be able to get along with everyone? Sounds fun, but there's a lot of guys I don't like, but it's not like I don't want to play with them. That's the spirit again. You'll be used to everyone little by little and you'll make uh, more friends. I hated school myself. I was quick to... Ki Kai? Key? To fight with people so I don't have friends. A delinquent. Uh, I thought you were better than that. Uh, I'm sure you'll grow up right, Gin. Your mother's delighted too. She doesn't think I'm a weirdo kid who's too much trouble. She's always uh, sounds happy when she tells me about you. I'm gonna grow up quick and be a ma uh, man mom can depend on. Oh, really? I wonder, I, should I teach you the Asunaro vow? What's that? It goes like this. It means what I want to be today, Asunaro, tomorrow, I will be. If you write your name on this paper, I hear you can have any wish granted. Wow, it's a magic paper. What do you wish for? Obviously for mom to be healthy and live a long life. You're sure you don't want to wish for yourself? Uh, it'll be great on my own power. But if mom isn't there with me, then I won't be able to show her. Oh, that's sad. You really are a good kid uh, again. I mean, I just love my mom. I signed it, the paper. If I'm going through this now because of that, it's just awful. If I make mom sad, there's no point. That was Gin's erased memory. Uh, we'll definitely make it home. Big Sarah and everyone else, we won't sacrifice anyone else. Right. Or anyone. We will defeat uh, Midori no matter what. Alright guys, well, uh, I think we should have a lot. I think we are getting close to the end of the game though. But for now, I have to end it there because that is really all the time I have for today. But guys, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, I'm excited to see what happens. Bye-bye.